How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sport Talk. I'm coming at you on Monday, October the 9th, as we get this video to you. I have a little bit of sore voice. I went to the Vikings game, and uh, that game did not go over. Uh, however, you had a running back that had a wide open end zone that drops it, and then uh, and then you have two pass interference calls that don't get called. But uh, I will post some more post, uh, pictures on Twitter. Uh, we were up in some box seats and had a great time of the game. Uh, the Boston College game did go over, of course, and Georgia, of course, did route Kentucky. A little down on the week, obviously, but uh, we've had back-to-back -back six unit selections of football. I feel pretty good about football. I'm excited about the IC5 football card this week. We're going to increase the research up to 35 games. We're going to do all the NFL, SEC, ACC, Big 12. And I think that's going to translate into five good selections for us, so we'll see what happens. But um, uh, as it relates to baseball, back-to-back four-unit winners. We gave you the Rangers yesterday. They won plus 105. Uh, we've given you the four-unit winner on the Arizona uh, Dodgers over before that. Baseball, we have a five-unit selection today on the Braves game um, as they hook up against the Phillies, trying to make it three straight in baseball. We've won nine of 11 baseball seasons in the playoffs, not to mention the NHL starts tomorrow. I've given you the three NHL futures for free. I will give you the rest again. I'll recap the NHL futures for free on this video. But hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 20, uh, 19 years. Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. It's been around a long time. How this works, our best selections over at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva. Our next best selections are YouTube Premium Thoughts, where we give you about three extra selections every single day. And uh, especially during football season, you get 200 selections off for just $20 a month, um, which is probably one of the best deals on the internet. And you get a live show with me on Wednesday nights. So you get to hang out with me and we get to talk shop, talk about ball games in depth, talk about the entire football card. Uh, that's a long podcast, and uh, that's free for you every single uh, week. So, uh, so be sure to join YouTube Premium as well. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Um... What was our free selection on Sunday? It was a win, right? Uh, yeah, um, the Bengals in Arizona over. So hopefully we'll get you another free play winner for you today. We also won with Kansas State, Oklahoma State under on Friday. We missed on that Notre Dame Louisville over by the hook on Saturday. Uh, I have a doctorate in the Masters in Biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. Best selections, as I told you, over at DocSports.com. YouTube Premium is our next best selection. And our final best selection are free picks and leans, which you're watching right now. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comment section as well, as well as how to get a free $60 with the premium selections. If you want even more content, hop onto our Twitter, check our consensus reports, our trends on late night ball games, and our hot takes on sports as well. So what is going on in our neck of the woods? Well, we have a five-unit baseball selection, as you know, today. Trying to make it three in a row. We have a football card coming out Thursday. We have the NHL starting tomorrow. I'll jump on the NHL season um, because it's going to be a great season, and we're going to go on a roll. Soccer is on an incredible 7-0 and and 11-1 and run, which is insane. Um, so we're going to try to go for eight state soccer winners tomorrow. So it'll be between football, baseball, NBA, hockey, soccer, WNBA, four-unit winner on the Aces on Sunday, and an MMA 7 unit winner on Saturday as well. We're rolling, and we hope that you join us for everything. All right, let's get to your free play selection winner today. There's not a lot of action going on today, but I do have a free play, and I do have a lean for you, okay? Um, as it relates to uh, your free play today, I like the over between Green Bay and Vegas today. And you can find the over around 45 and a half. I've always believed whenever two crummy teams gets together, people always think that they can't score. It's the opposite. They can't play defense. These are all still professional athletes at the end of the day. They were all still five-star blue chip recruits. So they can all play football. I mean, 1% play professional football. So even the guy who's on the practice squad is still a pretty amazing football player. So you can imagine anybody starting this game is still pretty good. Green Bay is 2-2, two and two, but it feels like they're a lot worse. And that's because that New Orleans game they should have never won. Um, they lost to Atlanta by one, probably a game that they should have won. Uh, Green Bay was down 3-27 at the half against Detroit. Their offense started off really slow. I don't expect them to start off as slow this time, so I expect them to play much better offensively. Plus, Jimmy Garoppolo is supposed to be back this game. Vegas has lost three straight coming in. They only had one home game as well, so the Vegas will be rocking today. Garoppolo is back. This team actually played pretty well without Jimmy G and scored 18 points against a pretty good Chargers team as well. Pretty good Chargers defense. And I think all of that put together, Green Bay slow start last week, much faster than this week. I think this game goes over the 45 and a half. Green Bay Vegas side is your YouTube premium selection. Also, Arizona Vegas in baseball is your YouTube premium selection. I should say Arizona Dodgers. Uh, that is also a YouTube premium selection. Your other lean today is between um, the Dodgers and Arizona on the side. So YouTube premium is on Dodgers Arizona total and Green Bay Vegas side. As far as Arizona and the Dodgers side, I still like Arizona plus the one and a half. Arizona just clobbered LA 11 to two, and I know LA has massive revenge, so this is just a lean. I'm not trying to be a homer here, but you know, keep in mind that LA beat this team five times in a row, and then Arizona beat them when it counted. That's got a sting for LA, and I get that. Dodgers had outscored them in their previous five games, 30 to nine. 
when I counted. And then he lost two to 11. Gallon and Miller here. Gallon went four innings, six hits, and five runs. And five innings, nine hits, and six runs against the Dodgers two times. In his last three starts, though, he was sharp. Six innings, three hits, no runs against the Yankees. Six innings, seven hits, two runs against Houston. Six innings, five hits, two runs against Milwaukee. I believe after back-to-back horrible starts against LA, the fact that he's had three straight quality starts, I think he comes through here, which is why they're only a plus-135 dog. Miller went six innings, four hits, and no runs, and six innings, seven hits, and four runs against the Arizona. He beat them both times. So now you have Arizona, who has double revenge on Miller, and you have a pitcher for Arizona who has double revenge on the Dodgers. Very interesting. And all of that points towards Arizona, even though the Dodgers clobbered them last time. Why is this line not like minus 175, right? Let me make sure it's not 175. But why is this line not like much? Well, yeah, it's around minus 160. But wouldn't you expect the Dodgers, after a loss, being even a minus 200 favorite? That wouldn't even shock you, especially for a pitcher that got clobbered by the Dodgers twice. I think the I think Arizona at plus one and a half is decent value here, so I lean on them as well. YouTube Premium, I hope you enjoyed the content. YouTube Premium, I'll see you in five minutes. Indian Cowboy working hard for every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe and join us for the five-minute baseball selection at 6 p.m. Take care.